Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all keeping well and ready to watch my latest film entitled Two Hours in Sancestor. Well I recently picked up this uh, book from a local shop entitled Sancestor written by Alec Clifton Taylor full of interesting facts. One of them says that during the Roman occupation of this country Sancestor was the lar second largest town in England. A more up-to-date fact and written here is that in this Cotswold town there is a home with the world's largest yew hedge. So without further ado, sit back and enjoy. From the air, the Cotswold town of Sinchester looks good. With typical Cotswold stone buildings, it has the air of prosperity. Indeed, as I said earlier, during the Roman occupation of Britain, Sinchester was the second largest town in England. Arrived in Sinchester on a cold spring day with a keen wind, the threat of rain already felt some spots so hopefully our day will improve so we're looking forward to walking around the town walking towards marketplace we see ahead of us the saturday market and the parish church of saint john the baptist and across the road is the fine looking king's head hotel one of the oldest charter markets in the country Mentioned in the Doomsday Book of 1086, it is a shopping experience not to be missed. But it is held on a Monday and Friday. This market is the farmer's market, held on the second and fourth Saturday of each month. We break off from our walk around the town to visit the parish church of St John the Baptist, one of the largest parish churches in England. It is built of Cotswold stone, and is a grade one listed building. Building of the oldest part of the structure began in the 12th century. The church has been built on the site of an earlier Saxon one. As we continue our walk, we pop into the popular Oxfam charity bookshop. I am surprised to see one of my books for sale, the first book I wrote on the Severn Boar. There are many walkways leading to interesting shops. We enter Swan Yard to visit a local cafe for coffee. A welcome cup of coffee out of that cold wind. We're now inside in the warm, in a cosy little cafe in the centre of Sinchester. Most welcome a hot cup of coffee on this cold day. Refreshed, we leave Swan Yard to walk into Black Jack Street. Yet another walkway leading into a courtyard with various shops. Finally, leave Black Jack Street to see ahead of us the tallest yew hedge in the world. What is on the other side? Something that has puzzled me since a child. You will have to wait though, until I've had lunch to find out. Yes, you have guessed right. This is the premises of Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. 
Have you noticed the flash cars in the town? I told you it was a prosperous town. I have just seen a menu in a restaurant window with fish and chips costing £18. A quick dive into a charity shop as black clouds suddenly appeared. Just in time to beat a terrific hailstorm. We are now really hungry and walk through the corn hall passing through the Saturday Cotswood Craft Market aiming for their cafe. Sadly, there were no spare tables, so back outside it was. We decided to visit the Black Horse Pub and patiently wait for our meal, Hunter's Chicken. Feeling fortified, we head for the Crinium Museum. Well worth a visit full of Roman, Saxon and medieval collections. Although Sancester was the second largest town in England, nothing really remains in Sancester to remind you of their occupation. This museum has the best collection of Roman artifacts in Britain. I know that you are dying to see what is on the other side of this hedge. Yes, the Bathurst Estate with Sinchester Park, a Grade II listed building which in 1714 was rebuilt from the former Oakley Grove House. Today, the Earl and Lady Bathurst reside here, a title held by the family since its creation in 1772. Prior to this, the title was of Baron Bathurst. Close by is Cecily Hill with an imposing building known as the Barracks. At the top of the road is the entrance to Sciencester Park where for centuries people have had the right to roam for free. Not anymore, it has just been announced in 2024 that a charge is to be levied to walk here. This has caused much anger with protest meetings being held. Time to head back to the car. Unfortunately, we couldn't find the car park where we had left it. There are so many car parks in the town. On the way back, we crossed the river churn, running high after so much rain. Hooray! We find the car park and car and are soon heading back home. You will need more than two hours to see all that Sancestor has to offer. Despite the weather, it was a good day exploring the town. Thank you for watching my film. If you liked it, why not subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Meanwhile, I look forward to meeting you all again next week with a new film for you to enjoy. Bye.